many hours later. It took me a while. I had to take a break for dinner, but the triplets have had their makeup. So let's start off with Poppy. So with Poppy, given how she has dressed in the past and her personality and all of that, I kind of wanted to go with like a really pretty and preppy kind of vibe. Although I am kind of second guessing these shoes, so I might just quickly. Yeah, I like that better. Uh, all right, so we've got Poppy's outfit number one. So with Poppy, she changes her hair for most outfits, but she also likes, you know, pastels and pink. She's very big on pink and just kind of a preppy style. I like each of these, except for the shoes. I was not keen on for any of them, but that's okay because we can change them. Cute. And outfit three. Ah. The shoes for that one work, I think. She's so cute. Then we have her formal wear. So she's gone very elegant and glamorous. I feel like she likes to look good and always have perfect nails and perfect makeup and perfect hair. This is her working out gear, sleepwear, party wear, bright, fun, cute, adorable bathers bit risque because of who she is as a sim. Some very simple, easy but cute hot weather gear and some very adorable cold weather gear including Ooh. the new cupcake hat which I think is so cute. Then I did Oliver and for his outfits I went pretty basic. I don't mean this to be mean to Oliver because I love him but he is kind of boring. He's a bit beige. <laughs> so I've gone kind of beige like a little bit fashion like expensive clothes that look nice together but it's also kind of a bit boring and a bit safe no jewelry no nails nothing like that if you guys think oliver is different make sure you let me know in the comments because we can always like change his look up as he goes uh but yeah so we've got one outfit two outfits so it's kind of like a country chic relaxed beige vibe i don't know i don't know what to to put his style as and then he's got a very sleek suit Super comfy and easy workout gear. Super comfy and easy PJs with this new t-shirt, which I just, the, the, it reminds me of, Cal it's an egg, yes, but it reminds me of Calcifer from Hell's Moving Castle. I just, it gives me vibes. Then for party wear, again, like more expensive, nice looking things, but he also doesn't put tons of effort into his look. Very easy swimwear, very easy hot weather gear, and very easy cold weather gear. Okay, now for our air, Rosalie. So for Rosalie, <laughs> we're in our emo phase uh, and I wanted to go grunge. So we're going grunge. A lot of black, a lot of denim, a lot of chipped nails, the same hairstyle for each, very black eyeshadow and liner, just very simple with some jewelry. And we also have given her piercings. So on every single outfit, she has these piercings, which I think are actually really cute. Um, she has this earring for each of her main outfits. Now I've given her five outfits because she is our heir and also there were so many cute grunge things that I couldn't just pick three outfits so we've gone all out and we've done five. So this is Rosalie's outfit number one. Outfit number two. I love her so much. This emo grunge rock vibe is everything and I'm so excited by it. Outfit three. Outfit four. And outfit five. I love her so much. She turned out so cute. All right, then we have for her formal wear. Now I went with this because I figured she's like, she likes the grunge trades. So she dresses up for, for formal events, prom, all of that sort of thing. But while she'll wear, she'll wear heels and her nails are done and not actually chipped, I just wanted to go with something different that wasn't like traditional everyday dress or, or whatever. And I really like it. I think it suits her really well. She keeps her hair exactly the same, but just changes into some fancy earrings. And she's got some really interesting eyeshadow going on um, for something special, which I, I don't know, I just love it. Then we've got her workout gear, which is just very casual and easy. Uh, these are her PJs, so we've got another rock tee and some leggings. For her party outfit, we've gone with like this really cool iridescent kind of see-through jacket. It's very 90s. This came with the high school pack, but to me, this is like 90s, peak 90s. Like, that's amazing. So we've done that with the cute skirt, boots, and ripped tights. And then we've got some cute earrings um, and some cute makeup to go with everything. So she's coordinated, but she also is still her vibe. For her bathers, we've kept it very simple. Chipped nail polish, painted toes, the regular jewelry, but no makeup, and black and white. Very cute, but also just 
kind of basic for her, which I love. This is her hot weather gear with some sandals, some baggy shorts, and a cute black tee. And then for her cold weather gear, we've got an oversized hoodie, some tight jeans, and some black Ugg boots. Uh, and again, with the same nail polish and jewelry with a little dark yeah. makeup. I, listen, I love her. She, I am so glad that we're going with Rosalie for our air. So anyway, let's finish off the episode. With all of that being said, thank you all so much for hanging out with me today while we play The Sims 4 Rides to Legacy. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.